Hello, thanks for watching. My name is Ryan. We're continuing with teaser trailers that were released at DC FanDome 2020. We'll be taking a look at James Gunn, The Suicide Squad, which includes some amazing behind the scenes footage and a cast introduction. Let's have a look right now. I think it's gonna surprise people. You kinda of sit there and go, how did they do that? It's gonna be different from any superhero movie ever made. There's no one better in the world to direct The Suicide Squad than James Gunn. I was excited with an opportunity to be able to do The Suicide Squad in the way it could be done from my point of view. This one is completely unique. This is a gritty 1970s war movie combined with the brilliance of James Gunn's characters and comedy. You need your director to set the vibe. The Suicide Squad is just a twisted fantasy of characters. Within each of our characters, there's a certain beauty. Within most of them. Some of them are just pretty crappy through and through. Be like a douchey Captain America. The guy who believes in peace at any cost, no matter how many people he needs to kill along the way. Okay, I got it. Don't ever settle back like you think you know where this is going, because you don't. As soon as you have some sense about what's about to happen next, James comes in. Oh! Everyone's exploding, genitals, heads, arms, legs. It's like a big, massive graphic novel brought to life. This is by far the biggest movie I've ever made. I don't think that you know what to expect. Don't get too attached. This has been truly the greatest, most exciting journey of my life making this film. Cut, that was great. No, we will not see Joker or Deadshot in this movie. Joker couldn't keep it together on set in the last movie. And who knows where Will Smith is. Hopefully not making the sequel to Gemini Man. This movie has a massive cast. We don't even see all the superheroes in this cast role video we just saw. At DC Fandom, they had a panel with all the cast. I counted 18 superheroes. I mean, that's too big to keep everyone around for the entire movie. In the behind the scenes footage, we hear James Gunn describe some of the characters as pretty crappy through and through. And we also hear actor Joel Kinnaman say, don't get too attached. So I'm simply gonna put two and two together and say a lot of these characters are gonna die. And I think it's gonna happen quickly, like in the opening sequence. We don't have many details about the plot yet, 
But we get a clue from one of the producers, Peter Safran. He says this movie is going to be a gritty 1970s war movie combined with the brilliance of James Gunn's characters and comedy. A comedic war movie? Let's see if we can get a cameo from Topper Harley from Hot Shots. And if so, Charlie Sheen's superpower should be social distancing. Let's keep him as far away from Margot Robbie as possible. What Gunn has said about the movie is that there's going to be a ton of explosions and special effects. Apparently, he's been hanging out with Michael Bay. He just keeps saying that this is going to be different than any other superhero movie ever made. In other words, let's forget about the last Suicide Squad movie, which I didn't think was that bad. It's certainly not on the level of A Dark Knight or anything like that. But hopefully this one isn't different like Catwoman different because I'd actually like to see a third Suicide Squad. I love when filmmakers go the extra mile and give us fans something like this to look at, even though they're still in production. I give the teaser trailer for Suicide Squad our highest rating, 5 out of 5 on the star scale. The two characters I think will definitely survive are Harley Quinn and Bloodsport, and probably Captain Boomerang. The rest, eh, I'm not sure. Which characters are you most excited to see come to life in this movie? And more importantly, which characters do you think will survive? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And for now, that's our take. We'll see you next time.